Hey guys, KFAR back again once again. So today's video is going to be a bit different. We're just going to go over uh, an update on Jonathan Mazzilli, Turtle, Liberty or Death, because this guy's an idiot. If you recall, we're just going to jump back to the beginning when he decided he was going to. Where is it? Ah, yes, serving his local police department with our right to travel papers, which didn't work out because he immediately got arrested and then bragged about how he got released from the dungeon because he wants to be chilly. Now, we're going to fast forward this a little bit here because I did a video a few weeks ago on these two videos where he finally got his, I don't know, his beater, if you will. It's a Ford Ranger, good truck, but uh, this guy treats it like shit by putting nonsense all over it. And he thinks he's uh, collecting troll tears, which I thought was hilarious because he was bragging super hardcore about, let's go back a little bit here. So we could see his law books and words of lucky laptop news. All right, so here it is, his guru packet, if you will. And he states, for all the trolls that feel the need to send me some bull squat motor vehicle codes, I have it. The prosecution better bring their A-game. Enjoy that fruit, trolls, because he thinks anyone like myself that comes to his page must be a troll simply because this guy doesn't understand the law. Now, he probably bought this nonsense from someone else Obviously, I thumbs down, and I'm pretty sure I have like 100 comments on this because I thought it was hilarious. Now we're going to jump to, I believe, a few days ago, and we got the outcome of his case and what he has to say about it. All right, guys, our delusional main character, Jonathan Mazzilli, has this to say four days ago. The low-level courts have convinced, I'm assuming that meant convicted, uh, before you trolls start celebrating, I expected they would, dot, dot. As I told some of you, I don't know why he's typing this out like this. It kind of bothers me. But as of a couple months ago, in the last post I just showed, my guy, you thought you, you had it in the bag. You thought your law books were going to get you out of following the law. And we told you they wouldn't. And sure as shit, they didn't. But that's because the low-level courts are corrupt. No, they just know the law and don't want to play your bullshit. Now for phase three. Tomorrow, I file my appeal with the higher courts. The Supreme Court has heard this and said that you're fucking wrong. I'm sorry. Guilty, lol, as expected. They wouldn't let me say my speech or quote the case law or give definitions. I go back tomorrow morning for sentencing and to file my appeal, of which the judge said shouldn't be a problem with all the constitutional points I was allowed to make. Ah, oh, This has been decided for, what, 110 years with Hendrick v. Maryland, which said all states could, well, each state could require you to have a driver's license, and to my knowledge, all 50 states require you to have a driver's license to drive. So miss me with that shit with the whole case law thing. Sinise versus Rose, another great one, which gives a three-part, I don't know, definition, point, summary of what the right to travel actually means. And it debunks the fuck out of every sovereign citizen I've ever talked to. And then he puts, or to give the definitions. My guy, if you're trying to give the definition of drive from Black's Law Dictionary, second edition from 1910, uh, you're going to lose that again, because even that law dictionary, the law dictionary, not the actual law, says that the definition of drive means to be employed, and the word employ means to make use of something. You are making use of your shitbox Ford Ranger that you threw a bunch of bullshit over. You're going to lose it again. All right, and that ends today's video on the update on Jonathan Mazzilli, one of the lowest IQ motherfuckers I've ever had the displeasure of having discourse with on the internet. So this is, I'm just going to leave you with this. This is my private property. No trespassing. This means you, pigs. He's probably 40 or 50 and is trying to sound like an edgy 15-year-old. Do better, Jonathan. Do better. Nobody go over there and harass Jonathan. I mean, honestly, you can just tell he's living an extremely shit life. So just leave him alone. Let him just fail on his own. Everybody have a good rest of your day. Peace.